And a very good evening, everybody. Jalen Ogle claimed the state cross-country title this fall, and now this talented runner from Watford City headed to the Division I level. She will run at Mississippi State of the SEC, and yes, join her sister there. Um, I, you know, I was looking at some other places and stuff, and I visited Mississippi, and it just, it felt like, it felt right. I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. It just, like, I was there, and I felt like, I belong there, and my sister goes there, so it'll be nice to be able to run with her again. So, what a tremendous opportunity to run at the highest level of college athletics in the Southeastern <laughs> Conference. What a challenge, right? Yeah. Oh yeah. I think that's gonna be the best part, though. Sure. What What did they say they liked about you? Um. He, the coach, said that he knew what he was getting into with our family. Because he obviously he has my sister and he knows that we're really hard working, dedicated. Um, and he said that that's kind of what he he knows we have that and that's why he wants me to go and run there. This fall you won the state title. I know that was a goal for a long, long time. Tell me about winning that state title. probably one of the best days of my life um just because i i worked from like sixth grade i'd say to now and having the accomplishment of being able to cross that line knowing that all the hard work and dedication i put into it finally just it came together and uh yeah just being able to cross that line Knowing I was first was probably one of the best feelings I've ever had. And you had to work your way through injuries, too, so it certainly yeah. wasn't easy. Oh, yeah, for sure. A lot of PT and a lot of um, time outside of practice and you stuff also, like that. Yeah, you also picked up a wonderful honor, the Gatorade, North Dakota, cross-country runner of the year. What a great honor. There's a lot of great runners in our state. Thank you. Yeah, that one was that one was also a really good feeling. Um, uh, I like every time I think about it or talk about it, like that or state. Like I always, it always gives me a big smile on my face. All right, we congratulate her. More good times in the Southeastern Conference, and she earned it. All right, our Class A girls All-State team is out. We're hoping real soon we get a coyote on this team. Bergen Kinnebrew got my vote for Miss Basketball. Logan Nisley, good player, but, you know, she missed 10 games. I thought that was way too many to win Miss Basketball. Simon, a very good player. Schiller, tremendous out of Red River. She was a star, and oh, by the way, uh, she did not win the state cross-country title. The young lady we just heard didn't. You know, that was kind of left out of the broadcast uh, last week. But anyway, just my point. And then Lily Bell of Minot, tremendous. Second team, you know what I always say? Doesn't matter if you make it first or second, you're an all-stater. Fricky from Minot, uh, Dick of West Fargo, Cheyenne Safransky, Fargo Davis. Folk from Jamestown, Plu from West Fargo, Felchi, Legacy, Gorno had a very good game against the Coyotes, and Scout Woods from Wapiton. We congratulate them all. Another award for the RC sharpshooter, Emily Krakowski, been named to the All Region 13 team. This after being named to the All Mondag Conference team a couple weeks ago, averaged 17 points a game, nailed 41 threes. A tough young lady from Australia. She suffered a broken wrist, a concussion, and a a torn ACL. She undergoes surgery on Friday. Last year, a broken wrist. Bill Triplett calls her one tough kid, one impressive kid, and he's sure that she is going to be back in about nine months knocking down threes. Wish her the very, very best. A very, very nice lady. Absolutely no question about that. And uh, let's take a time out here on First News at 10. 